Shane Stewart, congratulations on tonight's win here. Did you think you would be the guy to put the stop to Donnie Schatz's winning streak? Well, you just never know, honestly. You just have to continually put yourself uh, in position to win these races. And I knew Donnie was starting fourth, and I knew the track was getting pretty slick, and you just never can not count the guy out. And he just does not make mistakes. And uh, it really makes me personally, and I know it makes my crew guys, work even harder to try to beat him. And, and uh, just uh, can't thank enough for... Uh, Steve and, and Bob and Andrew, we've actually uh, been pretty strong here this West Coast swing, and and uh, it, uh, man, it feels good to be here. These re these races are so hard to win, and I knew Joey was going to be pretty good against the curb, and and um, sometimes leading you just don't really know where to go, and we we're able to get by him there in lap traffic, and and the yellow actually helped me a lot, uh, get me out of lap traffic, and your car got pretty tight when you're getting behind cars against that big curb, so. Just uh, got to thank uh, Justin Marks and, and Kyle Larson for believing in all of us. And GoPro, uh, FK Shocks, uh, Speedway Motors, uh, GF1 Cars. They've all, we've been kind of meshing here uh, lately. And uh, man, it feels darn good to be here. During the race I was watching you, you seemed to struggle a little bit off too with trying to get off the corner. Every time you do that, it would allow Darren Pittman to gain. As a driver, how do you correct yourself even though you're out there racing and trying to focus on the race as well? Well, I guess when you're leading, you just kind of got to judge your, your speed off of lap cars if you're around lap cars. And I knew um, that as long as I could keep my, my car pretty straight, that it was going to be hard for him to get to me. And, you know, aero is such a big thing with, with these cars these days. And it's hard to get really close to a guy and get a, a good run on him. So I knew if I could just keep my car as straight as possible off, off both corners. Actually, turn four was just as hard as turn two. So... Uh, yeah, I'm just ecstatic to be here, and, and um, hopefully all my family's listening, Jen's listening. I'm sure she's passed out in bed, but uh, just uh, can't thank all these guys enough. They worked their tail off, and, you know, we've only raced a few races this year with the two-car, and, and to come out here and, and win uh, another outlaw race this season uh, says a lot about uh, their hard work and my equipment. Second win on the season. How much more confidence does this give you guys going into the rest of the West Coast swing? Oh, huge. Um, you know, we've been, we, like I said, we've been pretty quick every night uh, leading up to tonight. So, uh, you know, anytime you can win, it's a, a big confidence booster for everybody that's involved. And uh, hopefully we can uh, keep putting ourselves in position to, to running up front. And uh, when you do that, it seems like you give yourself a lot better shot at winning these races. And, um, you know, this one paid off good for us. Well, congratulations to Shane Stewart and his whole Larson Marks number two team on tonight's win here. Darren, you were racing so very hard out there. You gained on Shane a little bit in lap traffic, and he was struggling getting off, a little bit off board. You were running the bottom. What did you need to just get that win tonight? I didn't want to see that yellow. I mean, I don't know if it changed the outcome of the race or not, but uh, definitely uh, didn't want to see that yellow there. I thought we were coming to him, and, and uh, there were some good lap cars right there in front of us that were going to mix things up. But uh, uh, congrats to Shane uh, and that team. Uh, that great job tonight, and uh, uh, just came up one spot short. But... Uh, you know, got a hats off to my guys, Kale, Colton, and Carver. We had a really solid night. I mean, I felt like from the time we unloaded, we were pretty fast, and uh, we just made good changes all night long, and that's all you can ask. So we put ourselves in a position to win a race. Uh, just came up one spot short, but uh, we had a great car, and uh, my crew guys did a good job watching the track and, and uh, making really good, smart decisions, uh, you know, to keep up with the track, and, and uh, uh, we'll just settle for second. You battled hard with Joey Saldana. You battled hard with Donnie. What did you learn by racing those guys tonight? Well, I mean, all these guys are tough. You know, it's uh, it's it's hard to to get a spot when you when you get in the dash. That's. Uh, you know, that's normally the best eight cars of the night are out there. So every spot you earn from that point on, uh, you have to work for it. So, uh, you know, the top was definitely faster in uh, three and four. One and two, you could do both. Uh, you, you know, the top was pretty tricky on entry. It was pretty good on exit, but uh, the bottom was still hanging with it. So just uh, keeping up with what they were doing and, and, and maybe where we could go to run a little different line uh, to try to get by them. But uh, you're always looking at what they're doing and, and, and if you're gaining or, or losing ground to them. Uh, and like I said, you got to work for every one of those spots when you get that close to the front. Well, congratulations to Darren Pittman and the Great Clips number nine on tonight's second place finish. We'll head down here. Donnie, third place tonight. You battled hard with Darren Pittman. You slid. You slid him. He got back by you. What are you and your team going to talk about that you needed to get to work on this car to get a win tonight? Uh, I know what we needed. Uh, the race is over now, so it don't really matter. We uh, uh, try a little something different, uh, trying to get a little better, and um, you know sometimes you do that. We haven't made very many mistakes lately, so uh, 
tonight was one of the nights. Uh, you know, I had a great car uh, throughout the heat and the dash, and uh, made up a lot of ground. And you know, in the feature, I, I thought we had a really good chance. But um, you know, there's a couple cars a little better. So um, you yeah, have nights like that. Uh, I already know the mistakes we need to, we made and what would change. So I uh, wish we could run it over, but we can't. Uh, we'll go on to tomorrow. You, you ran on the bottom the first half of the race, and as the race progressed on, you caught lap traffic, and they were on the bottom, and you had to move to the top. Was your car just as good on the top as it was on the bottom? I was okay up there. Um, you know, there's there's a little bit of trough and wanted to, and, and didn't want to take any chances at you know try to get yourself in trouble. So uh, I tried running through the middle, tried a little bit of everything, but uh, I just couldn't seem to make anything work real stellar. Uh, you know, like it has been. So um, it was the best we could do. Uh, you know, third we'll take it. Uh, no hanging our heads from where we qualified. We, we rallied back a long ways in the heat and uh, a long ways in the dash. So. Um, you know, it's a hats off to this STP team. They, they did a phenomenal job. They worked as hard tonight as they have the last 20 nights. And uh, no win, but um, we got tomorrow night. You and your team definitely been consistent. Congratulations to Donnie Schatz and the STP number 15 on tonight's third place finish.